The figure above shows a path around a triangular piece of land. Mary walked the distance of eight miles here from P to Q, and then walked the distance of six miles from Q to R. This distance. If Ted walked directly from P to R. By what percent did the distance that Mary walked exceed the distance that Ted walked? So Mary's distance is what percent more than Ted's distance? This you can do by Mary's distance divided by Ted's distance, multiply by hundred, and whatever your result is, if it is one ten, it means ten percent more. If it is one twenty, it means twenty percent more, and so on. Now here. How can we calculate this distance PR? One method is using the Pythagorean theorem. Don't use that in these types of tests. Ninety-nine percent of the time, I, I should say, nine more than people don't like my ninety-nine percent thing. So maybe more than ninety percent of the questions of uh, right triangles where you have to use Pythagorean theorem, they are using these combinations that you can just memorize and then. In one second, you get the answer. The combinations are three, four, five, five, twelve, thirteen, then seven, twenty-four, twenty-five, eight, fifteen, seventeen, and then there is nine, forty, forty-one. Now, if someone tells you there are two sides of a triangle, one is 24, the other is 25, that is hypotenuse. What is the third side? Right away, you say uh, it's seven. Even if you put Pythagorean theorem in use, you will spend time and you will get to the same answer. These are the multiples of this. Like in this case, this six is double of this three, right? This eight is double of this four, so we have eight. Now. There must be ten here, double of five. So we have this distance ten. Now eight plus the distance walked by Mary is eight plus six, that is fourteen here. Divide by ten times hundred. Cancel this zero with this zero, and fourteen times ten is one forty, and one forty is how much? Greater than hundred, it's forty. So forty percent more is our answer. Choice B.